Hi Shirley, my name's Kiara. I'll be performing your imaging today. Did you know what procedure you're coming in for? Uh, yeah, my doctor said it's something to do with my kidneys. Yeah, correct. So before we start, can I just grab your full name and date of birth? Yep, it's Shirley Gunn, 5th of February, 1965. Thanks, Shirley. So we're going to be doing a renal scan today. Have you ever experienced one of these before? No, I don't think so. Yep, that's all good. I'll quickly go over what our renal scan will involve. But before we start, it just looks like you've had an x-ray of your abdomen recently. Is this correct? Yeah, yeah, I had one yesterday. Yeah, so today we're just going to be doing some additional imaging, which is going to help look at your kidneys and further help identify and assess any signs of renovascular disease, such as renal artery stenosis or renal vascular hypertension. Has your doctor discussed either of these terms with you? No, I don't think so. No, that's all good. Um, on your referral here, it states that you have a history of intractable systemic hypertension. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So just having a history of that drug-resistant hypertension can sometimes be an indication of renal artery stenosis, which is just referring to the narrowing of the arteries which supply the kidneys with blood flow. This narrowing can then affect the function of your kidneys and can also lead to that second condition I mentioned, renovascular hypertension. Renovascular hypertension is where that narrowing then causes an elevation or an increase in your blood pressure. So our scan today is just going to help detect if those two conditions are present. Any questions? No, that sounds good. Perfect. So for today's scan, I'm going to have to give you a small injection into the vein of your arm. Did you have a preferred arm? No, either one is fine. Great. So the injection we're using today is called a radioactive tracer, and it does contain a low dose of radiation, but it shouldn't make you feel any differently. You can eat, drink, drive, do everything as you normally would once we're finished today. Any questions? Um, is this the same as an iodine injection? I had a bad reaction to that last time. No. Nope. So this injection is what we call technetium DTPA, um, and it doesn't contain any iodine. Um, any chance you could be pregnant or breastfeeding? No. No worries. So are you currently taking any Captopril or Lozartan, aspirin, or any calcium channel blockers? I was taking Captopril, but I haven't taken it in a few days. Oh, perfect. And when was the last time you had something to eat? Uh, I had something around four hours ago. Yeah. And have you been drinking much in the past hour or two? Yeah, I've had about a litre of water now. Okay, perfect. So the first part of today's scan... Oh, I did that again. <laughs> Oops. Sometimes this scan can be a two-day process. Um, and the first part today depends what we see. We might get you to come back in tomorrow for the second portion. Um, but for first for the today's scan, we're going to give you a tablet, which is just that usual captopril, captopril that you take. And we'll just get you to take that and then come back in about an hour. During this hour, though, it's important that you stay hydrated and continue to drink that water. And one of our nurses will come and check your blood pressure every 10 to 15 minutes as well. Once this image is up, we'll begin our image. Once this hour is up, we'll begin our imaging. Any questions? No, that sounds good. No. Um, and then we're going to fast forward to the hour. Okay. Welcome back, Shirley. Just going to get you to empty your bladder before we begin. And then you know. No worries. And just jump up on the imaging bed here, lay down on your back, and we're going to make sure you're comfortable. Yep. I'm just going to move the bed in a little bit. So it's just going to be positioned just below your sternum here. And then I'm going to move this detector down. It's going to be coming quite close, but it won't touch you. Any questions? No. no. Perfect. So all up, this imaging is going to take about 20 to 40 minutes. And I'll give you the injection we discussed once everything is positioned and we're ready to go. Once this first image is done, we're just going to do a quick rotation of the camera and do about five minutes of images on your sides. Um, if, if you do have any questions at any point, just give us a yell. Okay, no okay. worries. Perfect. 